Well, good day to everyone. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process that I take in finishing the gears that I've already made. This is for the repeating mechanism. And the first step is uh, spoking the gears, cutting spokes into the gears. So I'm marking very roughly the the areas and the shape that I'll be making the spokes around and it's going to be a force this gear is going to be a four spoke gear and the marking can be done with either a scribe or a marker and then drilling four holes so that with a jeweler saw I can then cut out and enlarge the holes which then I'll follow up and shape the holes uh, with a needle file and you'll see that in a little bit for smaller thinner watch sized gears there is a special tool used especially in factories where they simply punch out the spokes uh, making a gear blank um, I don't have that tool and quite frankly for the the thickness of piece of metal that uh, that I'm using to make this gear I don't think uh, such a tool would be of benefit I would still have to hand cut out and hand file out each of the spokes it would be the the better technique these being a belonging to a small clock uh, they're still actually fairly thick fairly robust little gears once I have the gears finished and filed to uh, to my liking the spokes and then I go ahead and work on refinishing or finishing the gears removing the burrs and removing all the scratches from the faces or the the flat surfaces of the gears I do this with uh, just a piece of glass and a flat uh, piece of uh, abrasive film and I start with the course, um, taking out all of the, the scratches, removing all of the burrs. And once I have that to satisfaction, um, then I move on to a much finer polishing film that will remove out the, the, the scratches from the previous coarser film. Uh, the last step is electroplating and to be clear electroplating does not cover up anything so if it has a scratch in it it's going to simply electroplate the scratch and so if you want the gears or anything to have a very high finish higher polish um, it needs to be done and taken out before you begin the electroplating process and here I've strung up um, the four gears for the repeating mechanism that I made plus the two gears from the alarm mechanism and with that we have the gears finished and ready to be mounted onto their respective pinions and assembled into the mechanism thanks for watching